You know, folks, third time's a charm, so I'm going to try to redo this without trying to go into two parts or anything. But I want to talk about the hot, what everybody's been dubbing as probably the best crowd of the PG era, ever, ever for the WWE, ever for the WWE. And that was the crowd that was in the IZOD Center this past Monday night for Raw. You know, You know what? Everybody, British Fist, OTRS, Tree of Woe, No DQ, Renegade, you know a lot of them <laughs> all are in agreement that the WWE really was sent a message by the universe on, on Monday night. Now it is true, well I guess it's true, according to reports that Vince McMahon and several others backstage were okay with the crowd. They liked the crowd. Because they pretty much, according to these backstage reports, knew that this was a post-WrestleMania crowd, and it was mostly going to consist of die-hard wrestling fans. In other words, smart marks. The ones that would come out and basically say, Hey, we want CM Punk as the WWE Champion, and we want him as WWE Champion until he retires. Or, we want all rich kind of style matches. You, you kind of get the idea. Or, we want the attitude ever back. That's basically the message they were sending. And according to reports, Vince, he knew what kind of a crowd. He wasn't, wasn't I guess wasn't mad. I don't know if they're just saying this to cover up the fact that he could have been. But, in a sense, according to reports, he, he wasn't that mad. He was actually, he was actually okay with it. He was, he was cool with it. He, he didn't mind it whatsoever. Ever, according, because, like I said, according to the reports, he pretty much knew that this was going to be a die-hard crowd. This is going to be post-WrestleMania crowd. I mean, if you take a look at the crowd throughout that arena, you saw some kids in there. You did see kids, but you didn't see many. You didn't see many kids. You saw some, but you didn't see a lot. You'll probably see more on SmackDown this Monday, I mean this Friday, if any of you guys that were there, let us know if there was more than what we saw on Monday. And you'll probably see more on, uh, Monday, on uh, this Monday night on Raw. In fact, you know what, you'll probably see more kids tonight when you tune into main event. I mean, you want to know how hot this crowd was? I mean, I think Jeff, Jeff Shegel, the Schlag Daddy on OTRS Central, said it best. He said the crowd was in favor of heels and cheered and booed who they wanted to. I mean, heck, when Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman came on the screen, instead of booing him, they cheered him. Even when he kind of insulted them a little bit, they still cheered. And why? Because that was a diehard crowd that says, hey, that's the ECW guy, maybe we'll get ECW back. Or something like that. That's the kind of crowd they have. And to me, I will give, and to me, I'll give credit to that crowd. You guys that were there in person, you sent a message to the WWE stating, look, we understand this is a PG error. But when you're in our backyard, not yours, but ours, you give us what we want, and, or we'll show you how we feel. And basically because they didn't give them what they've been wanting, they basically showed the WWE how they feel. I mean, when Sheamus and Randy Orton, who are arguably your top, fate, some, arguably, Two out of your top four or five baby faces in the company, two of your top four or five baby faces in the company are facing each other. Are facing each other was an opportunity to face the big show. You know, with an opportunity to face the big show down the line, probably at extreme rules. What happened? Instead of saying, let's go Orton, or let's go Seamus, or, okay, you know how the crowd
crowd gets behind Seamus when he does this. You know, getting set up for the bro kick, right? And they're going, bro, 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 right? They're doing it. They didn't even do that. Instead, they're chanting for RVD. They're chanting for JBL, Jerry Lawler, Michael Cole. They're doing the way. Basically, what they did is exactly what Slag Eddie visually showed in their review uh, two days ago. They did this. They said, fuck, excuse my language, excuse my language, God, but they said, fuck you, WWE. We're going to take this moment to show you how we really care about the product. And despite that, I mean, give the WWE superstar some credit, like John Cena. John just comes out there, he's smiling, and he's thinking, yeah, this is the, you know, he embraced it. He, I mean, you, I mean, come on, honestly, you don't think John Cena didn't know what he was going to get into when he walked out there with a the belt? He did. I mean, I mean, hey, when Mark Henry came out to cut his promo with Cena, to do his promo with Cena, and then you have him come out again later on for his match with Cena. What are the fans chanting? Sexual chocolate. And why are they doing that? Because they're trying to send a message. That's what that hot crowd at the Eisen Center was doing. They were sending a message to the WWE that, hey, we want, you've got to give us what we want. And if we want something similar to the Attitude Era again, you got to give us that. you got to give us something similar to the Attitude Era. Or something similar to Ruthless Aggression or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. They didn't care. I mean, I admit this. Big E Langston came out. Big E Langston, your NXT champion. Your champion of NXT. He comes out, he comes out, defeats Daniel Bryan, and they don't give a damn. Who do they care about more? Daniel Bryan. That's who they care about more. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had things planned for Ziggler to cash in, right? And when he did, that crowd erupted. Ziggler, possibly to me, when he cashed in, won the belt, got probably the biggest cheer, the biggest pop in recent memory on Raw. And all thanks to that crowd. It's like that crowd was basically stating, hey, he's your new world champion. You keep the belt on him, and you make him the face of the company. And I think... And again, even though it's reported that Vince was cool with the crowd because he knew it was a die-hard crowd, and it was a post-WrestleMania crowd, you know, whether that's just to cover up how he really felt or not, the point of the fact, the fact of the matter is that crowd, and it's, I'm gonna, it probably, it'll probably say it in the title, the Izon crowd, the hot Izon crowd from Raw sent a message. Now, it depends on whether or not that message got carried on to last night, whether it's going to get carried on to this Monday on Raw, we don't know. According to several people that were in attendance last night, it didn't, according to several reports, it didn't sound like it was as ruckus as it was on Monday. It didn't sound like it was as ruckus as it was on Monday. In fact, it sounded a lot more tame. So, again, to me, I think what happened is that crowd, even if it was probably for one night only, sent a message that night, on this past Monday night, stating, this is what we want. You give us what we want, and we'll side with you. You don't give us what we want, we'll show you how we feel. And that's what they did. I mean, when they popped for, I mean, here's the thing. They loved Fandango. They were humming this tune. They would go, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> Even I'm 
doing it, right? They were humming this tune, and according to reports, that's become the new Yes chant for this year. They were popping for Fandango. They popped for Jericho because he's an Attitude Era guy. They popped for Taker because he's Attitude Era and out of respect. They popped for Kane in some ways because he was an Attitude Era guy. I mean, they even popped for the shield when the shield came down. Now, I, now, you, now, obviously, you know Vince McMahon and those back in Stanford have to be thinking, okay, according to reports, like it was reported, you know, they're probably thinking, yeah, we know what kind of crowd we got, whatever. But you know somebody has to be, some people have to be talking with Vince thinking, yeah, well, you know, going like, yeah, we know the crowd was, you know, a diehard crowd, WrestleMania crowd, but it doesn't come off very well for us. And I'm pretty sure they've been talking about how the crowd was chanting certain things, that if you're going into a family-friendly environment, you should be bleeping out or editing out before anything. I mean, here's the, th I mean, here's the thing. They were, they were chanting bullshit, same old shit, something with the F, several things with the F word. You know, the, it was just crazy. It was just crazy how how smart marked and how hot this crowd was. How basically, again, overall, they were doing what many crowds, I'm assuming, should do, and I'll give them credit, and that send a message to those to the people giving you the presentation you're getting, basically saying, "Hey, this is not what we want. This is old. This is the same crap we've been getting." Give us something new. Give us something we can all enjoy. I mean, basically what they're saying there is, look, screw your family friendliness. Screw trying to, you know, cater to the mothers and the children. You know, screw all that crap. We're the real fans. You give us what we want. And again, that was the message, in my opinion, that this hot New Jersey crowd gave the WWE on Raw. That's my honest opinion. That's the, the message I, I, I'm sensing that they gave that crowd on Raw. Now you can agree with me or not on it, but I, I think overall, that's the message they gave them. That's the message they sent to the WWE. They basically said, hey look, we don't care about the crap, we don't care about this crap you're always constantly giving us. You know, we want something different. We want this. We want that. And I think everybody pretty much has done a raw review. Has pretty much said the same thing. It was a bizarre world night. Now I'm pretty sure some of the crowd, if not most of the crowd, had a few. Woo! Too many. And if that's the case, <laughs> then hey, there's part of your answer. But overall, to me, that hot crowd, that hot New Jersey crowd from Raw sent a message. That's the way I look at it. But let me know what you guys think. And for any of you that were there in person, do you agree that you guys sent a message? And anybody that watched Raw like I did, do you agree that they did send a message? Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll talk to you later.